Hi, I'm Ted Semporis. I grew up in Annapolis in the 1950s and 1960s. I was what you now call today a baby boomer. My dad and my papu from Pennsylvania and I frequently went fishing in the Severn River uh, out, just outside of Annapolis. The, the papu was the best of all our fishing buddies. My dad also took out a number of the local Greek Americans. Dad had an old wooden cabin cruiser and it was docked in Annapolis Harbor. Annapolis Harbor back then, no sailboats, no yachts. It was all working boats, oyster boats. Most of the trips took 10 minutes and we went over to North Severn where there was a naval uh, airfield and the Navy amphibian planes used to land right by our boat as we were, as we were fishing. One day in the 50s, when we were fishing off of North Severn, watching the planes, I was fascinated by the planes, uh, we kept fishing and fishing, and unlike every other time we went, we got skunked. We didn't catch a thing. We came back to the Annapolis dock empty-handed. When we came back, instead of leaving and going home, we walked all the way around the Annapolis Harbor. And remember, I was a little guy, and that, I, that walk, I remember, was a real challenge. So what did we do? We went to the Chesapeake Seafood House, which no longer exists but it was a large seafood house on the city dock and we bought a bushel of fish. We drove home, uh, we lived behind the SNS restaurant out on West Street, so we drove home and we, as we entered the house, my grandmother, my grandmother was a beautiful woman and, it, and she, was, she was so classy, but she got so excited when she saw that bushel of fish, she went, Yannis, Yannis, and came running up to him, and Yannis meant John, and she was just so excited, excited, and, you know, that my grandfather, though, seeing what was going on, turned to me and went, shh, 